What's good, good YouTube? YouTube? It's your girl Tiana. Your boy Quan. Legacy. Legacy. And today, tell me what we're doing. A story time. We're doing a story time boo. But first of all, we just wanna um say inform y'all on um, like this outfit, you know what I mean, y'all. We had just did a video, so before yeah. this, right before this, yeah, we did two and what one, one night. Yeah, so if y'all see the same clothes, like that. that is why, okay? We just want to go ahead and let y'all know that we're doing a story time on our labor and delivery with Zovia. So yeah, that's your one of the quickest. Mm -hmm. Let's get right into the video. Um, that morning we were supposed to be there around five, five a.m. five a.m. Yeah. y'all. So I didn't go to bed, y'all, till at least 3 a.m. Seriously. Yeah. I wasn't scared. Yeah, I was not scared. Tell my wife I want to do that. I'm like, get about with that. You lying. That's bad. He lying, y'all. He lying. I got text messages. Hey. Text messages? How you get text messages moves together? Um, like I was saying, I went to bed at 3, got up at 5. We had an alarm set, too. Yeah, for what time? time? What time? We, what time we had to set for? 4.30. Y'all, so first, you know how they tell you to call up there at the hospital, make sure they got a bed and stuff first. So we call up there, and they like, oh, we ain't got a bed for you. Yeah. I was like, y'all got a bed. Yeah, but like, somebody must have gave birth, like, quick or, or like. Somebody was discharged. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think somebody I didn't want to say it, but like, so they called us back, what, like, around like 11? Live in the morning, and um, they was mm -hmm. like, um, how fast can you get here? And it was like, like 10 some, minutes. She yeah. was like, all right, come on up. And I'm like, damn, like. Yeah, like, but I was, I, I before, when I talked to her at 5 a.m., they told me that they was not gonna, like, call me until that next day. So I'm thinking, okay, yeah. I'm not delivering until tomorrow. Right. So I was like, whoo, got another I'm day, get to chill. chill. Definitely. And yes. like I said, was kid free. So I was gonna relax that day That's and just good. rest. Good. Yeah, I was gonna relax that day. Uh, um, so then, like he said, they called back or whatever, whatever. So then, okay, I'm like, oh my god, like I'm just like my, like my, yeah, I'm just everywhere. Yeah, like, uh, like, yeah, and I couldn't yeah, eat. Call. I couldn't even eat. Ain't that right? Yeah, That's yeah. something I couldn't I eat. You ate. Of course you could. Eat. Mind, yeah. But anyways, y'all. So I'm just like rambling. I'm trying to do everything at this point, like. What I had to do, I think I had to take a shower. I, yeah, I went there. Your yeah, hair. I had my hair. I had to shower. All this, all we already had our I bags did. packed though, right? Y'all, they called us at 11. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We didn't leave out the house till like 11.45. And I remember that. Like I 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah. So we get to the house for you know what I mean? She had to um, do something. Like the I had to check in at the front. Yeah, and then so they called us at the back. Went up there, we had a smaller room this time. Man. Like, we didn't even have a rocking chair, I was mad. Like, <laughs> he wanted that rocking chair, y'all. He had that rocking chair with Keisha, and that boy was rocking, rocking, rocking. Like, man. Rocking that chair, man. The hospital there is cool, you know what I mean? And TV right there, you be like. We don't even be man. watching TV, though. Honestly. And I did. No, you did not. Not while uh -huh. I was in labor. Well, that night, I knew I did. Yeah, that. Oh, you fell asleep. Anyway. Yeah, I <laughs> So yeah, we got in our little room. It was small or whatever. It was smaller. I ain't like it. Yeah, I didn't either. I ain't like what it was. But anyways, um, so we were just checking it out, checking it out, checking it out, seeing how it looked. So about boom, boom, boom. Basically, I put on my little gown. They come in, and you know you have to take the corona, the coronavirus test like two days before. You get into yeah, So I had took that and then they came in the room, they had to give me my results because if you are positive, you have to keep the mask on while you deliver. I don't know who can do that. But for the people that's negative, I was negative and I did not have to wear a mask. Me and Kuma, we didn't have to wear a mask the whole time because I couldn't wear a mask. I'm not finna wear no mask while I'm in labor. I ain't finna do that. That's too much. You can. Yes. I, uh -uh. That's air. Mm -mm. So yeah, I was yeah, able to take my little mask off. And then after that, y'all, you know, they ask all those questions that they ask. Like, I'm getting aggravated now. But then they do my little IV. I got small veins in my hand. And it always hurt. And they always don't do it too good to me. She only did it one time, though, right? Oh, two. Uh, yeah. I guess I should stuck me. Twice. See, y'all, they. She changed it. Yeah. I don't like that. Like, they be messing me up. So, yeah, she did it. She stuck my hand twice to find my vein. And then the IV was in, but I was mad because it was hurting. And the hand got cold. Yeah, it was freezing. Oh, yeah, we was vlogging. He was showing off the snacks and all that. But anyways, so basically, um, she was already getting like, 
Oh, as soon as they put my IV up, they was already yeah. hooking up my Pitocin. Yeah, cause she was like coming already. I was already what, Some two reason. centimeters? And she was like, like, she was already coming. Yeah, so I was like two centimeters, y'all. Don't get us wrong with the times and all that, y'all, cause we might be a little off that. But it was like, like at first I was around two centimeters. Like, yeah, at first I was two centimeters. So then boom, after that, she put my Pitocin, it was just going up, up, up. It went from like, what did it start with? Six. And then it went to like eight, and then like uh -huh. ten, and then like twelve, y'all. That thing was really at twelve. I don't know uh -huh. if it stopped at twelve or fourteen. 16. Oh, kept going. Over See, 16. I wasn't paying attention how that corn was, but yeah. See, it started that low, y'all, and it just kept going. It was like every, I said about every twenty minutes that mode was going up. I would not. I about five, five, seven minutes to like, like turn, look back and went up. Yeah, it, turn, it be going up so quick, y'all. And um, like the more Pitocin you get, the more like them contractions start hitting, the more the baby starts, like you start to dilate. Yeah, they had checked her one time, she was like two. Now that she was five. How you gonna yeah. get two to five that quick? Like after I was two, my doctor came in to break my water. So my doctor broke my water and I was two right before then, but at, like right when she broke my water, she was like, I'm two and a half. So then, after that, like, okay, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm not really feeling nothing. I'm at two and a half, so it's nothing right there. But um, then, like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I said, okay, come on, like, I'm starting to feel these contractions a little bit more or whatever. <laughs> so I started to feel them a little bit. So, like, at five centimeters, I think we just, yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm just pushing through my contraction. They still kind of easy. It ain't really... <laughs> Those wasn't really bad yet. So like from two and a half to five, I was still good. I was in control. But um, so then like to see that video. after that, y'all, I'm feeling like I gotta use the bathroom. You remember my, I kept saying I think I gotta use the bathroom. So I feel like I gotta use the bathroom. That's mostly pressure. So um, but y'all, I really felt like I had to use the bathroom. So they let me go to the bathroom. Quinn had to help me walk to the bathroom, y'all. Anyway, yeah, so uh. -uh. But <laughs> I went to the bathroom and I'm just sitting there, like sitting there, but I couldn't get nothing out, TMI. I couldn't get nothing out. So I'm just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, and I'm still like leaking because mind you, like, they ain't been so long, my, broke my water, so you're gonna keep gushing, gushing. So I'm just leaking, 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 like that's gonna be aggravating. But anyway, so we're going back to the bed or whatever. But the lady's like, you okay in there? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. So, <laughs> going off the bed to the bathroom. We had to all that stuff up. Yeah, we had to hook the stuff back up, Quan did. So, I'm five centimeters still, y'all. I'm sitting on the bed, I'm chilling, chilling, chilling. I jump. I'm talking to everybody. We calling all our family, we talking to our family, yeah, things like calling. that. Mm -hmm. so letting them know like how far along we dilated and all that, since we was able to have nobody at the hospital this time. So, then y'all, I'm still chilling. So, boom. I started hurting even more now. Quan, he's still on my side telling me to push through it. Like, you can do this. Like, you got this. Like, breathe, breathe, breathe. Like, like he was there every step of the way with that, y'all. Like, I think he really helped me out and helped me to stay calm. So, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like, I'm breathing through him. Yeah, I'm breathing through him or whatever. And, mind you, like, I had been telling Quan, like, at home that, I did not want to get an epidural to shine. this time around. I wanted to try to do it without an epidural. And you know, the nurses kept telling me like, um, if you want an epidural, let us know. Like, if you need that medicine, let us know. And they was telling me like, after like seven centimeters, you cannot get an um, epidural. That's what they told me. Um, so I was like, okay, okay. So boom, I was, she was like, do you want it? I was like, nah, I'm still good. So she come back, she checked me again. She was like, you are seven centimeters now. And um, I'm feeling the pain a little bit more. So I look at Juan, he got his phone, or my phone, one of them. He's trying to set up the camera for our little vlog, our birth vlog. So I was like, Juan, get over here. Like, I was like, Juan, get over here. Like, this one, I'm just screaming like, like, Juan, Juan, like, come here. Like, and I'm seven centimeters, so I still ain't had no medicine, no epidural yet. So, okay, I'm like, oh my God. So then Quan, he just ignored me. I said, Quan, forget that camera, get over here. Like, he was not coming, y'all. Like, he was really trying to get that angle. He was like, ignore me. Quan, y'all, I'm getting mad.
mad and I'm just ready to get up and like <laughs> get out of that bed. But I sat up the whole time because it, it felt better and it was easier to maintain. But anyway, so at seven, the lady came in or whatever and she was like, can't get there for doing it now. She's like, you want medicine, y'all be? I said, give me a medicine. So I had already talked to my mom on the phone. She was like, they, she was like, I had the medicine before. If you get the medicine, like, it don't really work. Like, it don't, it don't um, take away the pain to make you sleepy. I said, okay, mom. So the lady come in or whatever. She's like, you want the medicine? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I take the medicine. She was like, um, I was like, do it help with the pain? Cause I know mom had just told me that. She like, um, I mean, it make you sleepy. I was like, <laughs> like, that's not what I asked. <laughs> but anyways, so she bring in the medicine, she put in my IV, boom. I'm like, <laughs> she had, no, she had like yeah, I'm like <laughs> like I'm sleepy right off the bat, and y'all let me tell you, I'm still feeling them contractions. So I was like, what in the world? Like, what was the point of this? Like, I shouldn't even got no medicine, so I didn't even do nothing. But I did not. I won't able to get the epidural, and um, I was I didn't want it anyway. But the medicine, I had to get it. But in like three minutes, y'all, I swear, in three minutes, like. The whole medicine wore off. It was like I was back to normal. I wasn't sleepy or anything no more. Like I was just like boom, the same. I was like, what in the world? Like that only made me sleep for like three minutes, and I'm back, and I'm feeling everything. I, it never went away. So then y'all, she checked me again. Then what? I'm nine. Yeah, I'm nine. That oh, was yeah, just I'm how many like, minutes later was that? Like I went from minutes. seven to nine in like five minutes. I swear to you, I was like five they minutes. They had to call the um, doctor in. Right when I was nine, and she said, started calling. Tell she ready. Yeah. They said, um, oh, don't push me, don't push me. Said, yeah. I, I got to push. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, and yeah, funny. when she checked me and I was nine, she was like, oh, you nine and a half, something like that. She was like, oh my God. She was like, it's like you got like this little bit more. Like I wasn't 100% thin out yet, y'all. Like. She said, like, just try to push a little bit. You might have to do that little, the small little, tiny little push. Yeah. She was like, so I wasn't all the way thin out, so I had to get all the way thin out, something like that. So I did that, and she was like, boom, you at 10. So that's when she was like, we got to call, what Quan just said, we got to call uh, Doc in. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She was like, come on in, come on in, or whatever. She came in like a... <laughs> like, like yeah, she was going fast, y'all, but not fast enough. So... The lady, the nurse, she telling Quan like help her move the bed, I think. Like that was you, like moving it from underneath me, the little bed that came oh, yeah, off. Oh, yeah. So they moving the bed from underneath me or whatever. And she was playing with her foot cause like the thing was still, she was like, I'm like, what? Who doing that? I'm coolest. Oh, for real? Yeah, I said, oh. uh, and then she like. Oh, her foot was something you had to help her? Yeah. I ain't even see that. Uh, but, so she told me, the nurse telling me to scoot up so they can take the bed apart. I said, uh-uh, I can't do all that. And um, but yeah, I did it. <laughs> of course I did. I ready to get that baby out. So I did it, but I told her, uh-uh. And then, so like he said, the doctor was getting all pampered up, but it was moving too slow, y'all. Like my back was right there, and every time I had a contraction, I could feel it coming I've down more it, and more. Like, open it, but I'm like, yeah, this is so like a little wood, like one push, it was like. Yeah. Like, uh, and then, like, did they tell me like stop or no? They didn't say nothing. Yeah, Uncle was like, she like, like, she went ready yet, and like, she like, stop, stop, stop. But you like, oh, I can't. yeah, I said I can't. So I went ahead and I was just like, boom! I just pushed out on one big push. Like when I felt it, could have fell, man. Like, yeah, oh yeah, she did. Cause the um the doctor, she was like, remember, there's no bed up underneath you. Like she was letting me know, like if you push and she fall, like she gonna hit the floor. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all, so I was trying my best to hold it. I'm like, and that is like the hardest thing ever when you really gotta push and you gotta hold it. So anyway, so I'm holding it. <laughs> so I'm holding it over there. But anyway, like she oh, over there. Stuff. And like, yeah, y'all, I had that next contraction and I just gave her all that I had. Like I just got her out of there. And that's why, yep, in the little video that y'all see the labor and delivery like I did give like a big scream because like, I gave it my hardest and like I pushed like to the max so I can push no more so that's basically what I did and I did it in one push and that's all I wanted to do one big push and I want to be out see I ain't have to feel all that I ain't have to feel all that pushing and then going back in up when I let go uh uh I did one big push and I want her to come all the way out and I knew she was coming out because I was like as I was pushing I felt the head I felt the shoulders because I didn't have no for doing that so I could feel it I heard the arms, the shoulders. It felt good. 
Yeah, it did. It felt good. Like, we have the boo boo, TMI. We have the boo boo. And, like, when it comes out, it feels relaxed. You know what I'm saying? You know how you relax. So, you feel like head and the shoulders? Yeah, like, I felt the head, and then you can feel the shoulders. You, like, you can feel that stuff coming out. So, when I felt the shoulders come out, and the little legs easing on out in the foot, I was like, woo, she out. Like, I knew I was out. I was so happy. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, she out. Like, I was happy that I have to keep pushing, do no extra stuff. My baby was out. I was happy, y'all. Shoulders can't do that. It was just like a great feeling that she was out. And then my baby, I heard my baby start crying. I'm like, oh my God. Like, y'all heard me in the video, I was saying, oh my God, oh my God. Cause that's because I heard my baby cry. Like, I was happy. Like, I knew I had done it. Like, it was done. Like, yeah, cool. I was proud of myself, yeah. I think. That one was too thick. Yeah, corn cut the gourd. <laughs> I think that was scissors with his door or something. I'm like, yeah. trying, like yeah. he cut the cord and the cord yeah. got, and then the little scissors got stuck in your finger. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh my hand, hold up. Yeah, the lady was reaching back for the scissors, the doctor, and then yeah, the I'm scissors like, oh, stuck in the cord. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh whatever. I ain't even see that till in the um, video. So. I, I ain't having no more kids, y'all. No, no. But yeah, y'all, I was so I was happy done. to get that with. And Zobia was 5'12", y'all. But yeah, y'all, like, she had said, like, I delivered Zobia so fast. Like, my daughter was so proud of me. I was proud of myself because with Faith, it took me 15 minutes to push her out. With Kisa, it took me 8 five. minutes. Wait. It was something like 6, like 8, five. 5. It was like was between five. 5 and 8 minutes. And then with Zobia, it was 8 seconds. She told me, I, like, they always said, you know, the time or whatever. But anyway, it was eight seconds, she said. And I was like, eight seconds? Because it was only one push. I mean, she was out. With us. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. Share. Comment what y'all want to see next.